Welcome friends, hi, how are you? Hope you are doing well. This time I am working on uh, making crochet flower. The thread I am using is, uh, you can see, there is a combination of three thin threads. You can see. Hi, okay. Now this is the color of my flower and uh, let's start over. Making crochet flower is very simple. I like you just see the every next step I am following. So that's how you will start working on a flower that's very simple just see here first chain second third four fifth six i will make total of 60 chains okay you can see i have made some chains let's count them these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. So I need 8 more to go. Okay, let's make the last 8. 40, 53, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 59, and now 60. So from here we will start our next chain, which will be something like that. Like first make a round on your hook and then enter your hook into the fourth chain first second third and this is fourth one so i am entering my hook into the fourth one like this now you can see there are the three loops over my hook and then wrap the thread or crochet over the hook and pass it from the loop and now again there are three loops over my hook and again i will first pick the thread and pass it from two of the chains or the loops and then there are the two loops and I will again pick some of the crochet and pass it remaining of the two. Now you have, you just see the design. This is the starting first step of the floor. Now we will make the four chains. One, two, three, and here's the last one, fourth. You can make the five or more chains uh, if you want to make some uh, big floor or something else. Okay. Now what we're going to do again, we will follow the double crochet pattern which we had followed in this step here. This is called the double crochet pattern. So again, I have just wrapped the thread and then enter into it into the same loop. Okay, in the same, you just see like this is the loop and I will enter this in this chain. And now we have the three loops over the hook and I will pick the thread and pass it from the chain. And pick the thread and pass it from the remaining of the two loops this is called the double crochet pattern okay from now we will follow the same pattern which is something like the double crochet first we wrap the thread and then again we will count the four chains first second third and here's the fourth one enter the hook into the fourth chain pick the thread pass it from the chain and then wrap the thread pass it from the two of the loops and again pick the thread and pass it from the remaining of the two loops okay and then we will make the four chain first second third and the fourth okay and again wrap the thread and pass it from the same loop like this and i'm making it a bit clumsy sorry for that actually i am focusing on making the video as well as on making the floor so pardon me okay again we will follow the same pattern just see first second third and fourth loop fourth chain pick the thread pass it from the chain pick the thread pass it from the two loops and then from the two loops the double crochet and then make the fourth chain four chain sorry first second third and fourth okay now follow the double crochet pattern in the same loop and the last one, one, two, three, and the fourth. Wow. 
twelve the four chains third and fourth well by the grace of allah this <laughs> last pattern didn't stack i didn't stack in the last pattern well uh, you can open it bit and uh, make a knot here or you can cut this part well i don't want to cut it i will cut it in the last well what do we do in the last okay we make one and two chains and then turn it over just see this is the first pattern and then what we gonna do we make the double crochet and pass it from here and uh, from all of this we will follow the double crochet total of 10 double crochet chain we will make here I like this job very much this double crochet pattern is a very nice okay let's count how many double crochet we have done one two three four five six seven eight and nine so we need one more to go we have to make a bit space over here for the last stitch okay okay this was the last one okay now what are we gonna do here like this i will make a big knot here and again we will follow the double crochet pattern here just see i am doing it too slow too slow okay you can do it a bit fast or the slow i am just doing it uh, very slow because so that uh, you can just uh, follow the pattern okay i will gonna make the double crochet 10 times again in the same floor total of 10 we need here okay how many chains we have done with one two three four five six seven eight we need two more to go these are the 10 so again what do we do we will do like this pick a thread and pass it from both of the thread okay now we again follow the double crochet pattern just see we are just done with this loop and now we're gonna make the 10 double crochet in this one area just see follow the pattern and just start knitting So at the end of knitting we will make a wider loop and make a cut and from this our needle work will start. I will show you how to do so. We will also cut the starting crochet thread. Now it's time to see the magic that you 
wrap the chain in such a way to make a flaw just see how i am folding the chain likewise this fold your chain of flower and your flower will be ready here is the final look of our flower which you can just see and now we will fix it by fixing our flower will not be reopened at the end of the needlework we will just make a small knot here just make two to three knots and your flower will be fixed until next video stay connected i love this